In the latest episode of Hunt the Truth, Benjamin missed his deadline to submit the files to Oni. Sully leaves a message telling him he managed to get an extension, but he clearly isn't happy about it. Ben is now certain that Oni was behind a massive lie about Master Chief. He's been receiving a plethora of phone calls from podcast listeners. People who are with him, people who are against him, and everything in between. These are your voices. It doesn't matter who's lying, or, or who you think is lying. The Master Chief saved the world, and you, you managed to what? Stir up a couple nuts and get some idiots to call you up? Get real, Jero. Where do you get off? You are a crusader, my friend. I always thought only in the government were fishy ass. Master Chief's single-handed is the craziest man I've ever heard of in my life. Thanks so much for submitting, guys. It means a lot to me and the team. It's hard to hear over the crowd, but here's what I say. Yeah, it's Dan from Lethbridge, Corsica calling in. Why are you shoving your nose where it doesn't belong? Master Chief single-handedly saved Earth on multiple occasions. Who cares where he came from? And here's what it sounds like in the podcast. Master Chief single-handedly saved Earth on multiple So awesome. A lot of familiar voices. I recognize a bunch of guys in there. Ben invites Ray over to see what else he can uncover. Ray tells him that Walker, the man who was supposed to be on a beach but Ben saw on a ship, was in fact on a beach, which simply can't be. All of a sudden, Petra, the woman Ben spoke to in front of the Oni building, burst down the door. She heard the podcast. He secretly recorded her, and she now knows the truth about it. She threatens him, and a fight ensues. As it turns out, Mashok, the conspiracy guy, was listening in on them the entire time. He admits that he hacked into Oni, and made travel arrangements so that Ben would run into Walker on the ship. He's getting real here, that's some, that's some sketchy stuff. Ray also looked into Dion Govender. He's a real person that died seven years ago. The guy Ben talked to on the phone was a fake. Dion wasn't real, not anymore. Petra and Ray leave the room. A woman named Pharaoh contacted Mashok earlier, and Ben wants to get in touch with her. But Mashok tells him that she is about to get in touch with him. The episode ends with some kind of Morse code. Kale Butsu on our Halo ran this sound through a translator, and it gave us this, StolenGauntlet.com. StolenGauntlet.com brings us to a Ford commercial. That's not really a Ford commercial. It's part of the alternate reality game. I'll be sure to keep you in the loop with the gist of it, but I don't know if I'm gonna get into the nitty gritty. Interesting stuff. Looks like this whole ARG thing is only gonna get crazier. What do you guys think about this episode? Did you hear your voice on it? Because that's just awesome. Feel free to tinker around with it, like bring it to a program, separate the channels, you might spot yourself. If you enjoyed this, guys, smack that like button. Halo 5 hype! The blue team side is completely done and sweet. Lordy, this is the sex. This is the sex right here.